Okay, so they want to know um, what is this expression equivalent to? So we have 10w to the third squared over 5w. What's important here to realize is that this, this exponent 2 is applying to the whole numerator right here, but not to the denominator down there. And what's nice is this really just means 10w to the third times 10w to the third, right? That's being squared over 5w. If we think about this numerator, 10 times 10 is 100. w to the third times itself is w to the sixth. Right, the logic there is if you have w to the third, it's w times w times w. So if we do, are doing this twice, w to the third times w to the third, you can imagine that it would be w times w times w times w times w times w. If you count them all up, that's six w's, right? So three in each, six altogether, that's our product. Anyway, that's over five w. And 100 over 5 is 20. W to the 6th over W is W to the 5th because W really just represents W to the 1st. And W to the 6th over W, if we think about this, that's just, well, right, if you have 6 W's, right, over 1 W, we're dividing, one of them will cancel out or subtract. Right, so we just subtract whatever exponents in the denominator, and the amount that are, are remaining here is w to the fifth is going to be your answer. So we have 20 w to the fifth. Now a nice shortcut is here you can just square 10 and square w to the third, uh, which is exactly what we did here, except you don't need to write it out. You could just say, oh, 10 squared is 100, w to the third squared is w to the sixth, and gotten this term right here, and then divided it by 5w to still get the right answer. All right, I hope that helped.